Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Exactly 11 months ago, I was standing here and giving a speech to you as the Chief Executive of the British Muslim Forum. I spoke about how, as British Muslims, we must exercise our rights and our responsibilities as active citizens of this country. Before me, in front of me as I was speaking, were my family, my husband Ishtiaq, my two children, Halima, age 19, and Fezan, age 17. Halima was managing the BMF stand for me and was the most dedicated volunteer over the two days that we were here. After the, after the event, we were all on a high. We all drove back home to Derby, having had a fantastic time over the two days at the GPU. The next day, Halima went to her university campus. Uh, she'd just started her degree studying international relations and global politics a few weeks before she'd just started the course. Her ambition and goals were simply to work with third world countries, helping the impoverished, the poor and the needy, and to be an ambassador for peace. The very next day after the GPU, Halima went missing that day. And the following day, we found out that she had been murdered. It was Monday the 26th of November 2007. That was the day that our world was turned upside down and our lives were changed forever. Halima was a beautiful young lady, followed with, filled with humility and modesty about her talents way beyond her years. A young lady who had a whole life ahead of her. She had an imme immeasurable love for life, a love for consideration for all those around her, and even those far and wide suffering throughout the world. Within a few days of Halima passing away, and out of desperation, I guess, to help us cope with our tragedy, the family decided to establish a charity in her name, the Halima Trust. The purpose of the Halima Trust is to attempt to fulfill the work that Halima set out to do herself to raise funds so that projects and charity work can be supported in areas of greatest need around the world. All the funds that we're currently raising for the Halima Trust will be going towards the building of the Halima School of Excellence for Orphan Girls. 310 needy and orphan girls will be catered for in this school in Wazirabad in Pakistan. We're working in partnership with Muslim Hands on this project to build the school and we have already begun laying the foundations just this month. The cost of the building of the school is over £100,000 and it's planned to be completed this time next year, next October 2009. Halima's hobby was nature photography and uh, you can see and buy her beautiful photographs in the forms in the form of cards and canvases on our stand which is stand number A7. Every project or initiative undertaken by the trust will be in Halima's name thus ensuring Halima's memory and legacy continues and gives thousands the opportunity to contribute for the sake of Allah. Now, as you can imagine, for us, 
This has indeed been a great test from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Probably the biggest test that anyone can have. For our son, Fezan, who was just 17, he was only 15 months younger than Halima. It must, of course, have been the most difficult and still is extremely difficult for him. Too often in today's society, we see young people who, when they're faced with tragedy or hardship, they resort to depression, drugs, crime. But alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given our son a great inner strength and maturity. And Fazan stood up to this test and volunteered himself to be the chairman of the, of the Halima Trust. At the age of 18, he's the youngest chair of any charity in the UK. He has taken it upon himself to, alongside his studies, he's doing his A-levels now, to head this charity and to make it a huge success, inshallah. He's leading a board of trustees, a very diverse board, and has recruited many volunteers, many who are here today, who are fundraising. He has courageously given TV interviews. He's quite a shy lad, but he's given TV interviews, press interviews about the charity and about the love and the support that we've received. In fact, in just a few months, we're already a third of the way towards our target to build the Halima School of Excellence. Now, many of you know that Fezan um, has been blessed with a beautiful singing voice. And so one of the ways that he has decided to raise funds for the Halima School of Excellence is through the release of a charity single called One Day. One Day was written by me, one day when I was thinking about Halima. And it's performed by Halima's brother Fezan. Fezan, as many of you know, is an up and coming Nasheed artist, and you may have heard him uh, perform one day on the Islam channel during Ramadan. And we're delighted to tell you that we're launching the CD today, and you can buy it in the exhibition hall on stand A7, uh, and also on the Abacus Will Writers stand, which is E14. Remember that every penny of the profit from the sales of the CD, which is only five pounds, but we hope that people will give more, every penny of the sales will go into the bricks and mortar of building the school. Now, we only have 500 CDs, and as the hall is filling up, I can see that there are many more thousands of you. So you'll need to hurry um, to uh, stand A7 uh, to, to get your CD. And Fizan will be there signing CDs too, if you want a signed copy.